Hello people, my name is Uduak Akwan. Of course, you can also uh, call me Buff. Uh, today, quickly, I want us to look at what I call rejecting the enemy's baggage. Rejecting the enemy's baggage. The devil is constantly sending us informations, um, sending things to our life because he wants us to believe in his message. And these messages are becoming to us as breaking news as event happening around our homes our families you know our nation event happening around our environment you know in form of wickedness sometimes you see some things and you can't imagine how human can actually think or, or descend to that particular point where they carry out such act of wickedness it's not new to god because isaiah 60 uh, Basto already prophesied that gross darkness covers the earth but what is um, not really common around us is the fact that a lot of people that are supposed to be shining are really not shining. And that is why you see that darkness is gradually taking over families because there's an individual that is listening to me right now that is supposed to shine on behalf of his family that is not shining. You know, there's an individual that is supposed to shine on behalf of his nation that is not shining. There's an individual that is supposed to shine in his office that is not shining. Some of us have, you know, let the current situation environment dictate how we begin to, you know, receive the new twists, the twists around the world, you know, COVID right now, people losing jobs, organizations closing up, and so because we have refused to change. And the point is that um, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against past, against rulers of darkness of this world. It means that we cannot use physical measures, you know, the economic terminologies and all those to be to counter what we are actually facing right now. There has to be a foundation and the foundation has to be, you know, God, where we can build everything that we receive from him to, to you know, to now build on those foundations that we already have, which is, which is God. We cannot use the human method to solve spiritual problems and that is the problem the world is facing right now that is the problem husbands are facing that is the problem wives are facing that is the problem homes nations organizations are facing because now we want to use human measure to be able to counter the works of darkness the clip you know you are going to see is actually to portray what i'm trying to say you know this darkness comes in different forms in terms of um you know in terms of issues with medical um activity in terms of government in terms of you know nations not having a clue to solving some challenges sometimes we have it in our in our lives sometimes it comes to us like a form of sickness a form of uh, symptoms and the, what the devil wants you to do is once your confession aligns with the message he has sent to you then you are falling for it and you have believed you know in a lie and the truth is that some people will take decisions based on the current event lifetime decisions that will affect the organizations that will affect their families that will affect you know their gen their, their lineage all through life is now is the decision that some people are taking and some people are those decisions that will actually cause you know a switch in the foundation that already been established and once the, those new twists have not been established then you now begin to build your life based on the new things you are now beginning to see why because you want to use your head to be able to solve spiritual problems it doesn't happen that way i wrote something down here i said the media is a great tool to send out the enemy's message you will always on daily basis hear a news or a news that will bring fear or challenge what you believe and if you are not careful you will begin to program your life with this new twist or these new messages and that is the problem that's why i'm saying this message to you that's why god has asked me to tell you that for you to take decisions for you to do the right thing in life you need to come back to him you need to go back to him 
it is until he can direct and tell you what to do that you can ever do the right thing. People have missed it in this particular part because they have listened to the voice of fear. The voice of fear has made them take that decision. The voice of fear has made them go into you know, that marriage. The voice of fear has made them go into that investment. The voice of fear has actually taken them, made them withdraw all the money from the investment and kept it in a bank and until inflation comes and me that's why you see that in investing in in you know in it's not just about the analysis sometimes you could invest against the majority and the point is that you are the one that will, that, will, that will break through that's why you see people keep saying that go do not go head towards your fear do not run away from your fear face your fear Sometimes it is in the place of fear that the breakthrough actually lies in. So when you see things coming your way and you begin to say, I know I cannot go this, I cannot do this because the entire world is facing this direction. And that's one thing you see that people take decisions based on the majority. People take decisions based on what the news is saying. And, and that's why, that's one thing that that causes issues and challenges in our lives. And that's one thing the devil wants you to believe in that lie and it devil is even telling some people are telling us right now that it is difficult that some people will never come out of this particular situation but the point is that when your eyes are on god when your hope are on god when you have what your faith remains you know in what you have believed before for those that actually believe in the message god has been sending and that's one thing i need people more people to be able to carry this message, this message, the fact, this message about the fact that we cannot let our, you know, the fight of faith begin to sleep, you know, in our minds. Devil wants to control, control your thoughts. The moment he can grab your thoughts, then of course he will grab in your direction in life because he will grab your faith. Faith will no longer make us take steps in the path that we should go. You know, his intention, like I said, is, is to grab your thoughts. The moment he can grab your thoughts, then of course, you will grab your feet. And for everyone that refuses to believe in the truth, the truth is what God has to say concerning a particular situation. What the word of God is saying concerning what is going on in your life, in your family, in your environment is actually the truth that you can ever say. For those that have said that, have said that this has failed, like I heard um, recently somebody say that they start of praying. Now, what the devil wants you to do is to get tired of believing in the word of God, is to get tired of praying, is to get tired in holding on to the plan and purpose of God and for your life. But the moment you get tired, you begin to, it begins to, then you begin to lose the grip on what you have believed, and then the devil has been able to grab that particular mind. And so that's one thing that you cannot but wrong back to God, even when it looks as if right now, right now, what we are currently going through, that some, some people might never recover from it. But your case is different. Why is it different? Because the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. There is safety in the name of the Lord. So when you run to the name of the Lord, then you can be rest assured that what will happen to you is safety is security and everything concerning you that has to do with your life you know with your finances with your family with your, with your environment even if the nation is actually you know wearing tearing down and, and and currently dying you will always try but let me know why your eyes are on god then you you are in his name and what he has guaranteed us in his name is safety you just look at the account, you know, talking about the, the, the life of Isaac. There was famine in the land and God, Isaac was about living. He was about taking a decision based on the current situation in that particular time. And God appeared to him and God told him, just like God is speaking to you right now. And God told him, stay in the land. Isaac would have left the land and would have gone somewhere else. Only God would have happened to Isaac. But God says, stay in the land. And Isaac stayed in the land. And the Bible says, said, Isaac sowed in the land. And Isaac recorded a hundredfold. It was in a time of famine. It was in a time of dryness. It was in a time where there was no hope. Even he himself didn't have hope until God showed up to him. But the truth is that a lot of us on a daily basis reject the message of God, reject the counsel of God. And that's why you see that 2 Thessalonians and 2, look at 10 and 11. Every time you reject the counsel 
of God. This is what happens. This, and look at verse 10, chapter 2, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, I'll read 10 and 11. It says, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the, of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe in a lie. So every time you reject the truth, you will definitely work towards believing in a lie. And when you believe in a lie, then you will lose that path that God wants us to be. A lot of people are beginning to pluck themselves out of where God has kept them. And you cannot afford to do that. When you do that, to get your bearing, you need to come back to where God has placed you. You need to go back to God and seek his face and ask God, what exactly did you say, do you say I should do? I'm so sorry about this. And that's the only way we can now begin to build. Because in God, there is no iota of darkness. So God cannot build on a wrong foundation. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So, except, like I usually say, except you Except there's a rebuild, you need to rebuild on the foundation that God has already laid down for you. And that's the only time that safety can be guaranteed. That's the only time abundance can be guaranteed, even in dryness. That's the only time, you know, victory can be guaranteed, even when it looks as if there's going to be defeat. That's the only time you will live, you know, in plenty, even when it looks as if a lot of people or the majority of people are in lack. You need to go back to God. You need to go back to God. And that is the only way. John 8, 32 said, Jesus Christ said that, for what? He said, you, for you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. A lot of us have been set free as Christians, but because we lack the knowledge, you know, of the truth concerning this particular situation, there are a lot of people are really in bondage. Bondage of fear, bondage of lack, bondage of shame, bondage of setback. Because what? We have taken our eyes off, you know, the truth. And that's one thing that God has asked me to come and tell you today. John 14, 6, 6 also says that, For I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the only way, the only way, he did not say I am a way. He said I am the way. So the only way to move or move from fear to safety and faith is only in Jesus, through Jesus Christ. And that's one thing we need to do. You cannot reject Jesus Christ and find your way to greatness to fulfillment to blessing even in life it is not possible the only way is through the lord jesus christ when you submit yourself to jesus christ then it, it will definitely guide your path and give you what to do even when it looks as if there's danger there's famine or there's no guarantee concerning your life run to the name of the lord based on proverbs 18 10 for the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are saved that is the only guarantee that God has given to everyone that puts their hope and trust and eyes on him. My name is Uduak Akman. If this has blessed you, please don't forget to share this message. This is what people need to hear right now so that they can begin to you know, redirect their steps back to God because that is the only guarantee for our safety in this environment in time and now. God bless you real good. Please do not forget to leave a comment if this message has blessed you. And do not forget to give us, you know, a thumbs up. For our returning subscribers, I want to say hands on the head. Thank you so much. You have been an encouragement to us. And um, thank you so much for everything. And we believe that God will continually strengthen, you know, and guide you all the days of your life. We will not cease to pray for you. Thank you so much. God bless you real good.